Hey guys, welcome back to the Kingdom Insider Newscast. I'm Tom, this is Cam. I uh, am. And we're going to give you some Disney news and rumors, but also Universal news yes. and rumors this week. And uh, before we get started, we want to give a shout out to Academy Travel and academytravel.com. If you're looking to book a vacation to Disney World, Disneyland, Disney Cruise Line, Adventures by Disney, or Universal, go through Academy Travel, yep. academytravel.com helps the show. Helps if you us, do, yes. Definitely does. I bet help it'll the show. save you money probably and, and time. They can save you money and time also. Uh, also, Happy Limo at happylimo.com, cruise Orlando in style. Use promo code TKI uh, for their luxury travel services and DVC resale market. They're the best in the industry when it comes to buying and selling DVC resale points. That's uh, DVC resale market.com. Um, so this week, I actually want to flip things around. Usually we talk about Disney first, and then we talk about Universal if we have Universal. Could you say you're going to do it upside down? We're going to do it upside down because this, to me, this is the biggest story uh, this week because we're such huge fans. Uh, Universal just announced today that they are bringing Stranger Things back to Halloween Horror Nights, but they're actually going to make a brand new house. Now, I don't know if this is going to be an addition to the other house um but this is really exciting this is really exciting we did halloween horror nights uh well, last you year and our son did yeah we did it last year uh loved it loved it first time we'd ever done halloween horror nights and we, we loved it and uh, he's been talking about going back all year he has he's like can i go again can i go again mostly so, for mostly for this he's a huge stranger, stranger things, things fan it's like his thing so um they just announced this today this is actually coming from the universal orlando blog welcome back to the upside down Okay, mouth breathers, get ready. Stranger <laughs> Things is returning to Universal Orlando Halloween Horror Nights. This year, you'll experience an all-new haunted house where you will travel back to the small town of Hawkins, uh, Indiana, and walk through some of the most terrifying scenes from Stranger Things 2 and, and 3. And 3, okay. So, the the house last year, which they kept open like way longer than Halloween Horror Nights because it was such a huge deal, uh, it was Stranger Things Season 1. Mm -hmm. So now they're going to cover 2 and 3. Yeah, because three, the three the Season 3 is going to be the summer on the 4th of July, so that makes sense. Go ahead. Yeah, so they kind of ran out of things because they basically had the, the Demogorgon like nine times throughout you know the course of this. But it sounds like they're going to fix it. They're going to have, um, you're going to come face to face with the, the Demodogs and mm -hmm. also make your way through the iconic scenes and locations from uh, Chief Hopper's cabin to Starcourt Mall, which oh, is in cool. season three. Right. And uh, we've seen a little bit of that in the trailer. The best part, this new version of Stranger Things is also coming to Universal Studios Hollywood. Oh, so you get it two places. Right. The haunted house on both coasts will parallel the hit show as it leaps forward to 1985 and prepare for the scares. Don't forget to watch Stranger Things, blah, blah. Um, so get ready because it's just the beginning with 10 haunted houses, five scare zones, and live entertainment still to be revealed for the world's premiere Halloween event. Um, actually, I gotta tell you, I freaking love Halloween Horror Nights. I well, do. our it's... son said the Demogorgon was one of the best costumes he'd ever oh, yeah. seen. He said it was amazing. Yeah, and uh, Universal, I mean, look, uh, and this is nothing against, this is nothing against uh, Disney at all, uh, but Universal's really upping its game. We've got a new hotel mm -hmm. opening this summer. They've got the uh, endless uh, endless summer. What the value? The value should be value. under $100 <laughs> a night. You know, we've got the Hagrid motorcycle coaster opening. Uh, they are finalizing, I guess, the details for the third park. There's already marketing material sort of floating mm -hmm. around out there. Nintendo will very, very likely be part of that. And they got Stranger Things and the Halloween Horror Nights just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Now, Universal is, I guess, a little more adult than Yeah, I than was going to say, is. it depends. Like, if you have little kids, of course, I'd say they're the Disney Halloween because it's like trick-or-treating and it's Mickey and Disney-friendly. Uh, and they have my best, they have the, my favorite parade too with the booty you. Um, but if you're like older, you're like Stranger Things or things like that, um, go to the Horror Nights. Our daughter wants to go to Horror Nights now this year too because she likes that kind of stuff. So Yeah, I hope they still have the Poltergeist house. Uh, we didn't get two Poltergeist last year. Uh, yeah, I'm not really actually, into it, but the, you know. The, <laughs> the one thing I can recommend if you do Halloween Horror Nights, you absolutely have to get the Express Pass. I know, because yeah. Because you're not going to be able to get it on. It doubles the price, but you get to see yeah. like pretty much everything at the Express Pass. We waited in line for, we got there as soon as it opened. We waited in line for two hours to get on Stranger Things, to go through Stranger Things. So... If you want to see more of the houses, you're probably going to have to get the Express so, Pass. So, yeah, if you're going to do it, save up and just do the Express Pass and just pay the extra money and get to do it. Yeah, so. but uh, really super excited about this. 
Um, so on the the Disney side of things, and this isn't to, this isn't a knock at Disney. We love Disney. We're actually going to be down there uh, next week. We're going to be at Walt Disney World. We'll do some live streaming. Uh, we're going to be covering uh, Run Disney. Mm -hmm. We're going to be doing the Star Wars. Uh, we're taking 5K. the kids. We are taking the kids for the first time. So a family, we're going to cover from 5K. a family angle. From a family angle. Um, apparently, the the ticket price increases that we talked about before. Um, this, you know, I, I can't even make sense of it, but the the, the fluctuating date uh, ticket prices, uh, the, the rates have increased on the packages as well. So it's not just single day tickets that you're going to be, uh, you know, paying more for. Um, so this was actually coming from, I have to give a shout out to Chip and Company because that's where it came from, but they said that they were out looking for packages and they noticed the uh, ticket price increase had been put in place for packages as of uh, yesterday, which would have been the 25th. So two so days ago. Two days ago. And it probably is in anticipation of Galaxy's Edge, which opens. Oh, I'm in sure that it's anticipation of Galaxy's and Edge. That's, you know, so. Galaxy's Edge is going to drive prices up, but it's supply and demand. You know, everybody's going to want to check out Galaxy's Edge. Even if you're not a Star Wars fan, you're going to want to check out Galaxy's Edge. So just be aware if you're booking packages that uh, the prices may have gone up a little bit. Uh, keep keep on the lookout for deals. Use a uh, travel agent mm -hmm. if you can because they're going to know a lot of the deals. Uh, they're going to know the ins and outs of things. We recommend Academy Travel. Yes. Um, you know, and they can also rebook your trip yeah. if something better comes up. They can do it for you. And yeah. we you know, we recommend them too because they're one of the top three agencies mm -hmm. um, in the world. So. In the world. In the world. So what else do we have uh, to talk about? Can you I want, talk about it? You can, can talk about can it. I? Okay. I'm so excited. So finally, we're getting a new Disney Vera Bradley bag. It is called, uh, I think it's called uh, Mickey and Friends and Disney Dandelions. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, going to be out tomorrow. But it's only available at the, uh, the uh, sure, Disney Springs. Uh, they're only going to have the store there. But you can call in and make an order. Now, I will warn you, when we got the one for 90th, we waited, what, three hours? Like three hours of calling? Yeah. So you'll yeah. be calling for a while. But, um... You don't have prices yet. I'll add them to the to the article I have on the Insider if I get them. Right now, we know they have a tote bag, uh, a quilted backpack, like a drawstringy looking backpack, a uh, throw blanket, and a wallet. Now they said there's going to be some more styles that they haven't shown yet. I'll probably, as soon as I find out what those are and the prices, I'll add them for you. Um, but you can call as of the 28th, um, and they'll open at 10 until 11 p.m. Um, 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. And you can call and order it if you go to the article on the Kingdom Insider mm -hmm. has the phone number there. But uh, they're coming out tomorrow. It's really cute. It's like a, a purplish gray background, looks like, with like bright colored flowers. And it has uh, Mickey, Minnie, Donald, and uh, Pluto, and Daisy on it. I don't no like goofy. Go no goofy. I no don't know goofy. why. But the other characters are on it. And that is available tomorrow. Like I said, again, I don't have prices yet. But Okay, yeah, it's exciting. I mean, yes, Vera bags, uh, this is what, the second or third one they've done since they've second. started making them again. And they and they aren't putting, I mean, as far as I know, they're not putting it on the website. People were saying about that, why can't you put it on the Disney site? Because this is, I guess, more of a partnership thing that their Vera is only carrying it and only carrying it at, at Disney Springs, uh, from my understanding. Okay. So, if you're going to be in Disney Springs tomorrow, head there. Um, otherwise, you can call. Okay. Um, Let's see, we could talk a little bit about Disney Cruise. Okay. Okay, so we've been talking more about Disney Cruise. There is an article out there on the Kingdom Insider. Um, I'm going to be doing more articles on Disney Cruise Line. We actually, well, I took my first Disney Cruise last month, had some thoughts on it, and I'm going to sort of break down, you know, some of the, the dining options and the entertainment. It was kinda, last month. It seems longer ago. Well. <laughs> and uh, how all that works. And uh, I did put an article out there kind of what to expect because... You know, my expectations going on a Disney Cruise were very, very different than, than what it actually was. I kept thinking, it's just a boat with Mickey Mouse. You know, it's eh, it's going to be boring compared to theme parks. It's not going to be uh, very Disney, you know. And, and I had a lot of those expectations uh, sort of dashed, you know. So there there is a good reason to pick a cruise even over going to the theme parks. Especially if you've done the parks a lot and you want something different. But still very Disney. So go out and read that article on the Insider. Uh, but uh, Disney is actually going to have uh, special Disney Dream Cruises with two stops at Castaway Cay coming this so like summer. like on the way in and on the way back? Or That's what? what I think. Um, two days in Castaway Cay plus a chance to swim with dolphins or visit the world famous <laughs> Atlantis and, and Nassau. And now those are up charges. You have mm -hmm. to do that. Um, so this is the four and five night cruises. 
Uh, these uh, MV Worth Sailings Board Disney Dream in June and July are an incredible option for your family summer vacation. The five night voyages also include a bonus day at sea, so you have even more time to soak up fun and relaxation aboard the ship. Um, so Castaway K is is very cool. It's very nice. It's it's sort of the uh, the idealized uh, Caribbean island. It's very Disney experience. Kind of reminds me of Typhoon Lagoon in some ways. Just Does to it? Have the, the theming and everything. But you know. The, the cruise I took, we spent one day there. And it wasn't even a full day. You basically get off the ship. We got off at like 9 o'clock, and you had to be back on the ship by like 3, 4 o'clock. You know? So this way you get more time to spend there because they do have you know beautiful beach. They've got uh, you know lots of, lots of fun stuff to do. So um, if you're interested in that, um, again, go out to Academy Travel, academytravel.com, and they can hook you up with, with that. And uh, we did talk about Star Wars a little bit about Galaxy's Edge. Mm -hmm. And uh, we could kind of, I guess we could segue into the the first poster for Episode Nine has been leaked. Yeah, we haven't put this story up yet, but... We haven't put this it's up It's some... Yet. There's some stuff here. <laughs> <laughs> some stuff here. So there's a lot to a lot to unpack. Uh, we're looking at it right now, actually. Maybe I'll, I'll overlay it in the video here and you can kind of see it. But uh, they got a lot of new characters. We've got, um, I don't know if the stormtroopers are red, but they look like clone troopers. The visors, they mm -hmm. look like clone troopers. They They're got a bunch of ships. Bunch a bunch of ships. A new droid that's like a cross between BB-8 and Wally. -E. Yeah, it does. <laughs> We've got... I still uh, want to know why 3PO is holding, she looks like Chewbacca's... Bowcaster Bow and Bandolier, which concerns me because they pretty much killed off everybody else. Please don't uh, kill off Chewbacca. Don't kill off Chewie. Disney, please don't kill off Chewie. Um, and then we've got some weird looking Jar Jar alien thing going on here. So, um, I, I don't know. I mean, you know, it's, they're really going to make a big announcement, um, at Celebration. Is this going to be Lando's daughter? Go up. Oh, She's got a cape. Yeah, probably. I bet yes, Lando's daughter. I bet you it is. I bet Lando's daughter is going to be in it because they, they're, they're going to have Lando. I'm just saying, show you the picture. Yeah, it looks like, it looks they, like, they don't, he's not in the poster. He's not oh, in the poster. Oh, they got the Knights of Ren, it looks like too. The Knights of Ren. The Knights of Go Meep. It's a go re. <laughs> it's a go re. <laughs> Kill slash things and have temper tantrums. Uh, okay, so that is actually going to be uh, probably debuted officially at uh, Celebration Chicago yeah. in April. Now there is a lot of other other news uh, surrounding uh, Star Wars. Obviously, Disney's gearing up for Galaxy's Edge. They're going to be doing a free comic book day featuring yes. a comic book. That has uh, some of the Galaxy's Edge. Yeah, it's going to be it, on so. Free Comic Book Day this year. Happens to fall on May the Fourth. Be with you the mm -hmm. same May Fourth. So they're doing. I know they're doing one that IEW is doing, which is the Star Wars Adventures with Han and Chewie. And then they're doing one through Marvel, which is kind of like a, a little snippet of like three or four different uh, titles they're going to have coming out soon, yeah. including Galaxy's Edge is one of them, a Tie Fighter one, and I think a. Is it a Boba Fett one? I think so. So they're going to have that. So what you can do is you go to your local comic shop that is participating on May the 4th on Free Comic Book Day, and you can pick up that title as well as other ones if they have it available. So uh, make sure you stop in your comic shops. Check that out. Yeah, so they're they're doing that. They're going to be uh, doing something for Disney Vacation Club members, too. They're having a Star Wars Galactic Gathering in the World Showplace Pavilion in Epcot um, for DVC members on April 10th from 6 to 8.30, so that is the night before celebration. Mm -hmm. I don't know what all they're gonna have, but they're gonna That's have- That's kinda cool. Um, yeah, they'll enjoy uh, Star Wars themed foods and beverages, Star Wars meet and greet, pose for photos. They're gonna have uh, uh, all kinds of all run Bean Watt and Basmati scented Bryce and cilantro. Oh boy. A carving um, station too, where they're gonna carve, what, Bantha? Pork, no, I'm sorry, I'm like... <laughs> pork carving station. 225 for adults and 210 Two hundred and that includes wait includes tax and, and tip includes tax and gratuity. Yeah. yeah, separate theme park admission is required. So, well, if you're a DVC member, you most likely have you know passes and stuff too. So right, right. So um, that is actually on April 10th. So they're really starting to get the Star Wars stuff going. And I think after celebration, it's just going to kick into hyperdrive. Mm. So uh -huh. I got that. I got that. That in there. See what he did um, there? Yeah. Okay. But there's going to be a lot. <laughs> so a lot of things, a lot of news coming up, I think, about Galaxy's Edge. Now, we still don't have a date. I don't think we have a date for the hotel 
Yeah, because that is no, but they're starting on it now. They're starting with the infrastructure for the yeah. hotel, and I guess they're clearing away River Country now mm -hmm. for the other hotel. They're starting to do some work over there as well. You can't keep track of all. Um, the so I know they're doing they both so of those. Many. I know they're doing both of those right now. They started on that, and then of course the the space restaurants coming along. So we have all that going on. Yeah, yeah, they've got that. Um, I guess a little bit of Disneyland news. Uh, they are gearing up for Star Wars too. Yeah. But uh, they've got the extravaganza returning this April, April 5th through the 21st, the uh, egg Next hunt. Friday. Yeah, which is always fun. We we kind of kind of did it at Disney World one time. We found a couple of the eggs, but uh, not a whole lot. But um, yeah, it's the same so, thing where you buy the map for like six dollars, right, seven dollars, right. and then you go put the stickers, and then you get a prize or whatever. It's like that. Yeah. But now speaking of Galaxy's Edge and Disneyland, uh, we did put a story up on this on the Insider. Uh, all the hotels are sold out. Mm -hmm. All the hotel rooms are sold out at Disneyland for the uh, night before. May 30th. And then I think Paradise Pier is actually sold out. Now, it's been a couple of days. They might all be sold yeah. out now. But um, So if you're planning on going to Disneyland for Galaxy's Edge, Disneyland, not Disney World. Disney World has way more hotels. But you might have to go to a good neighbor hotel down the street. In yeah, Anaheim or just wait a couple weeks or something until they open it. I, I personally would probably hold off a few weeks because you're gonna have a, it's gonna be insane mm -hmm. but that's just me that's just me if you want to be there first and say i was there first you know go for it uh good luck finding a room <laughs> i guess <laughs> so is there anything else we want to talk about no i think that's it for right now yeah we're gonna wrap this up i think and uh, we'll talk to you guys next week and we will be doing some live streaming next week from the parks mm -hmm. so keep an eye on the insider for that on facebook uh subscribe on youtube uh, and Instagram and everywhere else we are. Now. Yeah, we're going to be at the run uh, for the 5K for the Star Wars Rival Run. Yes. So everybody's down there and sees us. Say hello. Yeah. Um, anything else? No, we're no, good? No, I think we're good. Okay. Okay, bye guys. Bye.